Tony is not Patrick. She just proved that he is Tony, and the forensics have confirmed it as well. So, I have to continue to stay here. No. No, you don't. What? You just said Tony has proven that he's not Patrick, so... No. Only if you listen to what I say, okay? I had a conversation with the authorities and they have agreed to grant you bail on one condition. Then what's that? That you go to court and give a statement that everything you did, you did it because you were instigated by Didi. She pushed you to do it. She actually forced you to do it. Listen, Michael, you can gain your freedom by compromising hers. I wouldn't be the best criminal lawyer in this district if I had. Of course. Michael, what are you waiting for? Just sign this document and let's get out of here. We don't have time. Michael. such petty ideas anymore. Do you hear me? Did you hear me? I could never betray Didi. Do you know what she's gone through after all of this? Her whole life has been turned upside down. You want me to do this? If there's any harm coming in, well, you would have to go through with me first. Now get out! Get out! Now! What? Is your problem? What's yours, John? You decided to stay unmarried. Be careful, John. How do you satisfy certain urges? Well, you know what they say about men your age still unmarried? I do not know and I do not care to know. <laughs> the word these days is a deviant or a pervert. Oh. oh, you can include an unfaithful man, perhaps. As a medical doctor, are you not worried that your biological clock is ticking away? I mean, I have three wonderful children. What, Rama? Including the ones that Rama know nothing about. I see why she can't forget about you. And I see why she has remained or she has aged faster still married to you. I'm not sure the medical council will be happy to know that one of their own is crossing bounds with a female patient. A married female patient. But he was adamant and he refused to sign those papers. In fact, he tore those papers right in my face and preferred being behind I bars. I don't bloody care if Michael wants to spend the rest of his life in jail. Huh? The only person I care about is that girl Didi, which is why I sent you to Michael to get those papers signed. But you turned out to be incompetent to get a simple job done. Wait. Wait a minute. If all this is to get Didi out of the way, as you say, then you could also use the media. I mean, you don't have to go through all this for nothing. Michael Robinson, who has been charged with Patrick's murder, has just arrived. He recently surrendered to the police after being on the run for a while. I'm surprised he's here, but I'll keep you updated. This is Paul Asari for TBI News. We must marry her. We must marry her. Jesus. Jenye Gbeye. Jenye Gbeye. Jenye Gbeye.